everyone. I'm Niall Campbell, and I'm here with Fabulous. How you doing? I'm great. How are you doing? I'm blessed. I can't. I'm, I'm having a good time here at Howard's Fashion Show and Spring Fest, so I'm just enjoying the show, and now I'm back here kicking it with y'all. Yeah. So, you know, fashion is right. in your alley, mm -hmm. from your clothing line to your Instagram pictures with your family, and you're straight up killing it. Oh, thank you. Are there any looks that you really like today? Yeah, I've seen a couple pieces that was really dope, man. It's, it's, uh, it's a really creative show. It's, it seems like this... Um, a lot of design put into what they got going here and a lot of, uh, you know, even support from the, the Howard students and, you know, as the models walk out, everybody is, you know, uh, uh, supporting them and, and screaming for them and rooting for them. So, you know, that's, that's, a, that's a great uh, uh, source of support, you know, from right here in the school and they can take that support and take it out into the real world and, and make it happen. Definitely. And we really appreciate you hosting. So tomorrow you embark on the party tour with Chris yep. Brown. How do you feel? What, what can we expect from the tour? Um, it should be a, a really good tour, man. Um, I, I went to rehearsal today in, in Baltimore. Um, I've never toured with Chris Brown before, but of course I've, uh, you know, uh, made songs with him mm -hmm. and, you know, did that thing. So, you know, Chris is an amazing talent and a uh, great performer. And I'm um, just going to try to, you know, live up to that and try not, not, try not to get embarrassed by Chris, you You're know what I mean? You know, <laughs> so I'm going to do what I do. I'm sure Chris will do what he do. And uh, hopefully everybody enjoy the show. Definitely. So with you being a veteran over 15 years in the game, how do you keep yourself rele relevant? Um, one way to keep yourself relevant is not try to think about keeping yourself relevant, I think. Okay. Um, you got to do what comes naturally to you. Um, I can't give all of the recipe away or else I'll be giving everybody a, a reason to be relevant. And maybe I wouldn't be relevant anymore. But um, I just try to, you know, do what comes natural to me and, and, and not push or force myself to try to do anything else that other people are doing just really adapt to the game always changes but you just have to find a way to adapt and make it adapt for you you know what I mean not not try to do what somebody else is doing to to fit in and um I think uh, as people love what you do it'll keep you around and that's all I've been doing definitely um so what can we expect next from fabulous um I want to put some projects out this year I started a, a f actually like three projects last year but you know just working on three different things at one time. I didn't end up putting out any of them. And um, I'm trying to just finish those up and get them out this year. And hopefully can drop all three in, in one year if, if possible. I think music is digest much faster now. So you can drop a project and then maybe three or four months later drop another yeah, one. more mixtapes yeah. and everything. So I, I think we got some projects on the way. We got um, a couple of collaborative efforts that we're working on. We got some television and you know, uh, 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 digital movie stuff we dirt working on. So a lot of a lot of little things are brewing, and we just gonna try to push it through in 2017. All right, so y'all heard heard it here first. 2017 is gonna be the year of the Fab. Yeah. Um, this has been an exclusive. I'm Niall Campbell, and this is fabulous. Spotlight news. Spotlight news. Thank you so much. Thank you.